Hi, today I will show you how to create a VOOC lab to activate the student's background knowledge about a topic. There are many different digital tools you can use to create surveys and quizzes. What I like about VOOC lab is that they offer a ton of different types of questions, they keep traces of the student's answers, and it can be used in teacher-paced or self-paced mode. Also, it doesn't have the competitive aspects other types of quizzes have, and I think that for the purpose of activating prior knowledge, the competitive aspect could potentially steer the students away from the actual educational intention of the activity. So to first sign into WooClap, you will go to WooClap.com and you will either sign up or log in. I use my Google account to sign in. Once you're in WooClap, you can change a language if you want to. It's in French right now, so I'll switch it to English. It was right here at the bottom. I will create a new event. My new event will be called activating prior knowledge. I can also come here and edit this part that will be the code you give the students to enter the quiz. So I could leave it like that or put prior K for knowledge. So you see it's available when it was only prior, when the little X um, indicates that the code is already taken, but prior K was not. So that's what I wanna have as a uh, code to share the students. For this specific topic, I would like to activate the students' background knowledge around three different themes. So I chose the impact of language, the historical context, and the civil resistance movement. I will use today the open-ended questions, the word clouds, and the multiple choice. But as you can see, when you click on new question, um, there are tons of different types of questions that you can use. You can even have slides with information uh, before asking a question. If you want to spin the wheel, I really like, but for this intention, it doesn't really work. Uh, so we'll start with the multiple choice question, the open question, and the word cloud is the three questions I will use today. We'll start by the open-ended question. So my question for the students will be, can you think of something someone said that had an impact on you? What made it powerful? So I want them to first reflect on how powerful words can be. Uh, so it's an open-ended, no right or um, wrong answers, and it will be shown to me as a list. I can decide that a student can put in multiple answers. I could decide to be a moderator. If I turn it on, the students will not see the answers until I accept them. So that could be interesting if you have students that could write uh, things that don't have that don't make sense. You could also allow them to like other answers. So so they look at the the, the other students' answer and like them. They could put it images, for this purpose, I don't think it's useful. And there are also stop words. So uh, they will hide isolated words, especially for the word cloud. For this open-ended question, it's not needed. And a timer if we need to. But for now, I will only need these options. So I save my question there. So I have my first question right here. The second question I want to do today will be a word cloud. So I'll add, type new question, word cloud. So I would like to know what they know about the historical context, which is World War II. So I will write that. I will ask them, write all the words that come to your mind when thinking about World War II. So this one will be a word cloud. There's no maximum number of characters, multiple answer, moderator, likes and answers. With the word cloud, what's interesting is that if the students like an answer, it will become larger in the word cloud. So it could be super interesting for this specific uh, task because sometimes they won't think 
about something but they will know about it so it's it's interesting to know uh, their background knowledge this way so I'll let them use it this way so save and then the last question I want to ask them will be a multiple choice so I think it's difficult for them to explain what a civil resistant movement is so I will ask them to pick the right definition uh, of a civil resistant movement so what definition would best describe a civil resistance movement and then I looked up some dictionaries online to find the best definition I came up with three the first one is a secret organization resisting authority either a government or occupying power this one is the correct answer so i'll click it here to indicate it's the right answer i will also write two other definitions of resistance but there are other types of resistance the second one is the term resistant used in science so it's completely different of a civil resistant movement so a measure of opposition to current flow in an electrical there you go and the third one is also a real definition of resistance but not of a civil resistant movement so a lack of sensitivity to a chemical such as an insecticide as a result of exposure or genetic change again uh, i could decide to have the multiple answer on i don't think i will for this because i want them to only answer once it will be shown uh on the the screen like this so we'll see we, which answer has the most um the most picks allow comments i don't think timer i don't think so either so save so now that i have my three questions i would be ready to to have the students play so what I would do when I'm in my quiz is display right here when I click display the students will know they have to go to WooClap to use this code and I will swipe through the questions like this for them to start answering here I have the option to hide or let the students see the answers as they're writing them so I could hide them and only show them at the end. So I can go and see all my three questions. So I don't need, I don't have anyone answering right now. I'll go back to my quiz. Another thing that's interesting, if you go to the setting of your quiz, you can activate the authentication of your students so right now anyone could take the quiz without giving me their names it would be anonymous so if you do it with students i it would be uh interesting to activate this participant username uh and then you have the competitive mode i don't want that and then you can make your uh quiz shareable to other teachers by clicking this little option here so you let other users create a copy of this event by using this code that's what i did because i want you to be able to create a copy if you want to use it with your uh, students you could also add collaborators if you want to be more than one teacher working on the same document so this is how i would use WooClap to activate prior knowledge with my students i hope this helped thank you